put your blame on me. Welcome to another edition of The Coach Moore Show, on the air with you every Wednesday night. Our show is brought to you each week by Reliable Heating and Cooling. I'm Darren Washington with Coach Moore. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Darren. Last Friday night, the Tigers defeated Boardman 28-23 in the opening round of the playoffs. The Tigers are now 8-3 and, and move on to Week 2. Coach, your team showed a lot of heart coming back to win in the fourth quarter. How does a team develop that never-say-die attitude? Yeah, I think it's a process. Um, it starts in December with um, all the work that you put in in, in the, in the offseason. And, you know, when you, when you invest a lot into something, it, it's going to be really important to you to see it through. And I, I think that's what happens. The Tiger defense came alive in the fourth quarter, really slowing down Boardman's offense. How were they able to do that? I think our defense played well throughout the entire game, really. Um, you know, it was a very run-heavy team, and, and uh, you know we, we played well against them. Um, it really limited the big runs uh, that we'd struggled with earlier in the year. Um, you know, so I, I think I think they played a, a good game start to finish, really. On offense, the Tigers went to the passing game more in the fourth quarter, and it worked. Tell us more about your quarterback and wide receiver play in the last quarter. Well, um, you know, we just started hitting some shots. Um, we have a young quarterback that made some good reads and, and some good throws, and um, you know, our receivers came up big, um, catching the football. Our, our offensive line protected well there down the stretch. Um, you know, Trayvon Morgan had a couple big catches. Um, so did Austin Kutcher, including a touchdown, and, and Dean Clark, including the touchdown, and. Um, and it's easy to point to this guy and that guy, but it's a, you know, it's a team effort, really. On special teams, Tyree Broyles returned the opening kickoff for 91 yards for a touchdown. Tell us more about that opening play. Um, you know, we wanted to return it, the ball to the field. We, we, we liked um, that against how they, their, um, they aligned in, the, in their kickoff and how their coverage came down. And well blocked, well blocked play. You know, we had a nice. Um, uh, a seal down you know, with, with the, um, several of our re return guys and uh, some good kickouts, including a good double team. And, and Tyree hit it and made a couple guys miss. And yeah, he's really fast. Um, you know, at, at the end, there was a guy that, that really had a nice angle on him and, and couldn't quite get there. So it's a good job. In a moment, we'll meet a Tiger player and hear more from Coach Moore. But first, this word from Reliable Heating and Cooling. Everything that goes into a Linux system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half of your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Reliable Heating and Cooling. Get the latest innovation and technology at Reliable. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Thank you, Reliable Heating and Cooling. Joining Coach Moore and I is Dean Clark. Dean, what position or positions do you play? Uh, I play uh, safety and wide receiver. How old were you when you started playing football? I think I started playing for the boys club around the age of seven. Who are your position coaches and tell us more about them. Uh, my safeties coach is uh, Dan Hagenbrad, Coach Heck. He's a great coach, been here a long time very experienced, listen to everything he says. And my wide receivers coach is uh, Kale Miller, Coach Miller. He's been here also for quite some time, and uh, he's a great man to listen to and a great coach. What would you say are your strengths as a wide receiver and a defensive back? I think my uh, size and strength helps a lot when I'm running my routes or making a tackle, so that's definitely a plus. How about some areas where you need to improve your game? Uh, I think overall quickness and speed needs improved, and that's really about it. As a, wide receiver, as a wide receiver on offense and a defensive back on defense, give us a scouting report on Ashland's offense and defense. Uh, Ashland's offense, they run a five wide, so five wide receivers out, 
at all points of the game, all over the field. So uh, me at safety, we're going to have to play a lot of coverage against them throwing the ball. And then Ashland's defense, they run really a base defense. I think we're going to be able to take advantage of their defensive backs and throw the ball around. Coach Moore, what are your thoughts on Dean? Dean's a really good player. Um, you know, he's, he's done a great job for us all year. Um, just recently moved him back over to the offensive side. Um, you know, we, at the beginning of the year, he was he was new to safety. We wanted to give him a chance to just kind of settle in and 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 um, figure out what he was doing at safety because um, he was was really important to us, and we wanted him to really develop and play well and. Um, as he's kind of settled in, we've been able to get him back on the offensive side of the ball some, which has been good for us. Um, but as, as good of a player he is, he's a better person. You know, Dean's a, a fine young man. He's a great representative of our football program and is a 4.0 student. Does great in the classroom. He's a guy that Masterson should be very proud of. Coach Moore, your Tigers play Ashland in the second round of the OHSAA playoffs this Friday night at Worcester High School. What can you tell us about their football program? Um, they're 9-2. and two. Um, you know, They're a good team. Um, like Dean said, they're, they're five wide quarterbacks, very good. Um, they're, they're, they're tough on defense. You know, play well, run to the, run to the ball well, uh, tackle well. And um, they're 1-0 they're oh against Maslin all, all time. Um, you know, Maslin lost the game to Ashton in 1910. Oh. Um, so, you know, we need to get Maslin back to even in the series. What does Ashlyn like to do on offense? Five wide, um, but they're, they're really balanced. Um, they will run the football. They'll run the football with all five receivers out wide with, with the quarterback. Um, they'll also motion a guy in and, and run, um, you know, jet off of, um, you know, with, with, with that guy, whether that is option in the quarterback running or, or bringing him on an inside zone path. Um, so they're, they're, they're really pretty balanced. And uh, how about the Arrows defense? They're odd stack, um, which is different. You know, we just don't see a lot of that. Um, so it's a, it's a big week of preparation, especially up front. And finally, what do you see as the keys for a Tiger win against Ashland this Friday night? You know, we need to run the football. Um, and, and we need to stop the run, even, even though they're five wide. I really think that's the key, um, is to stop the run um, and, and make them um, one-dimensional. Because um, I, I think, like I said, the five wide, it can be a little bit, um, um, you know, untrue as far as, you know, them wanting to throw the football every play. That's not really true. They want to spread you out and, and run the football a lot. Uh, so we, we, need, we need to run the football, get them in long, third and long situations and um, get some pressure on their quarterback and certainly taking care of the ball. It's important every week. We want to thank Coach Moore and Dean Clark for joining us on the show today. The Nate Moore Show is brought to you each week by Reliable Heating and Cooling. I'm your host, Darren Washington. Thanks for watching. Go Tigers! Maslin City Schools is proud to have one of the top career technical education programs in the state of Ohio, recently receiving a number one ranking of the 93 districts in the area of achievement. Our career technical education department offers 14 pathways preparing students for college and careers. All students have the opportunity to participate and compete in their career technical student organization, as well as obtain valuable experience in the field while earning aligned industry credentials and or college credit in high school. Visit MaslinSchools.org for more information.